Before we jump into the episode today, I want to share something with you from my heart. First of all, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I really can't tell you how much your support means to me. We've been doing the podcast now for almost four years. I can't even believe it. And I'm so grateful for each and every single one of you that listens, shares an episode with your friends, sends me a DM or a text message letting me know how an episode resonates with you or any aha moments. Seriously, I couldn't be more grateful to be able to create this podcast. It has been such a blessing in my life and I love hearing the ways it's been able to provide value in yours as well. One thing you might not know is how much work it takes to be consistent with a podcast. In fact, did you know that the majority of podcasts don't make it past episode number 10? And we are well, 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 well beyond that. And it's just a lot thinking of the episodes, recording them, editing them, managing the guests, making sure that everything runs smoothly and gets uploaded consistently and regularly. And so that's why I have created an amazing opportunity for you to support the podcast monetarily. And in exchange for that, you will get exclusive premium subscriber content. So for as little as $3 a month, you can become a premium subscriber subscriber of the podcast. And every month I will upload new voice guided workouts and breathwork meditation audio for you. So that way you can work out with me coaching you in your ears. You can also take a moment to reduce your stress and relax and come down and ground down with one of my breathwork audios. So if that is on your heart to support the podcast for as little as $3 a month to become a premium podcast subscriber, I can't tell you how much that means to me and the growth of this podcast. I appreciate you. If you're interested, click the link in the description, become a premium podcast subscriber, new content every month. And while supplies last, I'll send you an exclusive podcast coffee mug so you can have your self-love and sweat coffee every morning. I appreciate you. Now let's get into the show. Welcome to Self Love and Sweat, the podcast, the place where you'll get inspired to live your life unapologetically, embrace your perfect imperfections, break down barriers, and do what sets your soul on fire. I'm your host, London Souza. Hey friend, it's me, London Souza, online lifestyle transformation coach. I help people all over the world just like you who know they are meant for more, get their mind right and their body tight and go from crazy busy to crazy happy. And hey, if it's our first time meeting, welcome. So happy to have you. And if you've been with us for a while, it's so great that you're here too. I'm really excited to share this episode of the Self Love and Sweat podcast with you. Hey, welcome to this episode. This is a really fun and funny one. I think you're really going to enjoy it. There is wine involved and I decided that one day we were at this hotel in Hollywood with my best friend, Allie, and my really close friend, Gia. Gia has been on the podcast twice, maybe three times actually. Um, so Gia and I will do podcasts all day, but my best friend, Allie, she's just, yeah, like Not everybody's super inclined to be on camera, be on the microphone, all the things, but I love the conversations that I have with my best friend, Allie. And I also love the conversations that I have with Gia. So I decided to get my phone, open up voice recording or voice notes, press record. And I had um, pre-picked a bunch of questions and I put them in the ice bucket at the hotel. And I just set it down, press record. And I was like, okay, we're going to answer these questions together. And so, yeah, it was a couple of glasses of wine in. It was not hard at all to convince my friends to just share the truth and share their honest answers. And when I went back and listened to it, there's so much value in this and also a lot of fun. And it's a little bit funny too. You'll learn some stuff about us that maybe you didn't know before, like Gia's most embarrassing moment. That's now not such an embarrassing moment. Um, What else do we talk about? We talk about what qualities in a person are really important. We also talk about why working 
working out is so important to us. Um, and yeah, a lot of other great things. So enjoy this episode and maybe try this out with your friends. You don't have to record it for a podcast, but just put together a bunch of questions, put it in a, in a bowl or in a bucket and just have people pick it out and answer them. And you can use these questions too, if you want. It was a really fun podcast episode. And thank you, Allie and Gia for being such great sports, honest friends, and just badass boss babes like you are. Enjoy this episode. We're going to pick, uh, these are a good question. I think you guys will like them. Allie, you're first. Okay, if we each answer, I think if I did it right, we each answer two questions by ourselves and one question at the last question, whatever's number seven is all together. We have to get close enough to answer. Oh, wait. Do I, do I need to tell you who I am? Yeah. Hi, this is Allie, and the question that I pulled is what qualities make a good person? Um, for me, I feel like an honest person makes a good person because it's not always easy to be honest, but everybody should tell the truth. Sometimes the truth's a little painful, but it's helpful. So yeah, that's what I think. Honest makes a good person. How do you know if someone's being honest? I got a question on my Instagram that said like, when people are being authentic and make an authentic, what did they say? An it depends authentic on the comment. So it's like, how do you know? So how do you know if someone's being honest? Because if somebody tells you something that's maybe not flattering about you, but helps you to be a better person, that's honest. I think that that's what it's about. It's not always easy and comfortable, but if it helps you, then I think it's honest. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, see you later. There may or may not be wine involved in this mission. Okay. And I'm out. Am I gone? Yeah, your turn. Okay. Right, closer. Would say, you you are, say who you are first just so people can recognize your voice for a moment. Okay. My name is Gia, and my question is, would you rather be able to talk to animals or speak all languages? Speak all languages all day. I wish I could speak another language, and that's my goal for in the next, like, year to at least learn Spanish. Why don't we Spanish. start doing, like, a joint Spanish class together? Yeah. I've gone to Mexico, Colombia, and I feel like an idiot that I can't speak Spanish back to people. Why don't we do once a week, can we have wine and Spanish lessons? Yes. <laughs> What's that one? C, to wine and C, to the Spanish. The language thing. Duolingo? That one, too. I want, like, a Rosetta proper Stone. Stone. <laughs> I want, like, a proper tutor, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can hire a friend. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay, this is London. My favorite color and why? Okay, so this, I think my favorite color is purple. Well, I know my favorite color is purple. <laughs> but I think it's because it's always, it always has been. And I think it's mostly because I, because I like purple, I see more purple things that I like. So I picked the purple nail polish. I picked the purple. Everything, around, everything nails. around us is purple. Everything around us is purple. I just like it. It's just a good color. And I feel like I... We just like purple. I, I feel like, like I relate. You and why? Purple, because I so. like it. <laughs> Is it okay. my turn now? Yeah, you're next. And then me and, um, the, and then Gia and then me and then we have this a one. I know. Question. I'm gonna put it back. I didn't look at it. Okay. Are you sure you don't look at it? Or did you look at Are you it? Being honest. Are you being honest? I'm being an honest, good person. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Oh my goodness. Describe a time a stranger showed you kindness. I mean, the one that comes to my mind um, the most quickly because it just happened was the girl. The most that, what? Quickly. Quickly. They said pickly. <laughs> Maybe I did say pickly because I just <laughs> ate some pickled chips and they were delicious. Um, the girl that helped me with the validation at Zara in the Grove after everybody was about to have a mental breakdown at Zara that day. Okay. And I wouldn't stamp mine. And we tried multiple other people in line and they wouldn't get a stamp. And Or no, I wouldn't get a stamp. I ruined your whole thing. Sorry. No, you did a good job. You did a really good job. But I, you sent this in the DMs. Because that it. happened You sent to me. this on the thing on Instagram. And I also talked about this on my audio coaching for my challenge. So people know that you had help with parking. But I didn't know the details. So I didn't want to fill in the blanks. So because the thing is that I was at the register. Everybody in Zara in the returns line was going to have a mental breakdown that day. This guy was like yelling. He had been in line for 10 minutes. I'm like, oh, honey, you've never been here. This is the Zara you've returns line at the here. Grove. <laughs> You're going to be here for an hour and a half. <laughs> Anyways, I was trying to validate my parking. I was holding up the parking validation <laughs> line, but I was putting it in there and it wasn't stamping. And she's like, I think it's good. I'm like, but it didn't stamp. And she's like, let me try mine. And she put hers in and it stamped. And I'm like, okay, see, when I do mine, it doesn't do anything. And she, like, waited and helped me and made sure everybody yeah. didn't know that I was lying or wasn't lying. 
Yeah. So you had like your thing and it just wasn't scanning and working. Good. You had just like a little dark mark. <laughs> so, I already lost my train of thought. Good job. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> You're like, Tell about a time you That's were great. so embarrassed and now it's no big deal. <laughs> um, the first thing that comes to mind is the time that I was at the gym and I was walking on the treadmill and I had just gone to the bathroom and then I looked over in the mirror <laughs> and there was toilet paper coming out of my pants like from the top. Like a tail? <laughs> a tail of toilet paper. And I remember being like mortified. Was anyone there in the back? Yeah. No, like there was people. I was just all walking on the treadmill with the oh, toilet yeah. paper coming out of my ass. <laughs> oh, okay. Can I say ass? No, you said it right. You can say ass. You can say whatever you want. I just was my, my mental picture because my mental state. No, but... Okay, so you were on the treadmill and you had it coming out of your I had so come from the bathroom, went on the treadmill, and then toilet paper was coming out of my pants. Mm. I feel like it was doing this. And then I was I looked <laughs> over and I'm like, what the hell is on me? And like there was people all around me, so like everyone had saw it. And then it's toilet paper from your butt. It's like, yeah. You're not gonna just take it out and throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Let it go. You're like, I don't know. Did you? <laughs> oh, shit. Is that what I you know. Did? I went to the bathroom. I think I, like, hit, put my shirt over to, like, try to hide it, and then I went to the bathroom. I would have left and never come back. I changed it. Now that I think about it, it's not really a big deal, but in the moment, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> I love that one. Okay. My turn, and then the last one we all have to answer, okay? Okay. Okay. But this question, when I wrote it, I have to answer it to both of you, but I don't even know what the answer would be, but I just wanted to say it or wanted to ask it maybe you guys actually let's say this for the last one no i'm gonna do this for the game for the name of the game i picked it okay what would make you never talk to me again if you fuck my man i thought that too (laughs) same that's That's exactly what i thought yeah i mean that's a line you don't cross and everything else i think is like black or like don't murder someone you love (laughs) Don't murder someone I love. Don't kill anybody I don't love. Don't fuck no. my husband and don't murder somebody man. that I love. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And that's probably it. I that's what I thought too. What would make or don't you fuck me over financially. <laughs> I mean, you don't but. steal my money, don't steal my man. And like you said to be what makes a good person honesty. Is I just feel like sometimes honesty is not pretty. I like honest communication, which is also why I knew what today I could put my for those of you listening. I just put my phone, I go, we're going to play a game. I put my phone up. I press the audio record on my voice notes. And I was like, I just know my friends will be honest. And so I think that's the most important between all of us, right? Is to mm-hmm. be honest. Mm-hmm. Do you want some water? Yeah, <laughs> you want some water? <laughs> There's some more water on the other end of I'm the like, table. I'm like, get it for yourself. It's, it's right there. It's on this end of the table, but it's on that end. Okay, this is the Do last one. you want some one. of those crackers, too? I'm okay, thank you. I don't think those, I don't think I can have those ones. Oh, do they have cheese on them? Do you like cheese? Sometimes. Sometimes. This is for everybody. You want to read it, Gia? This is for everybody. I like cheese. Oh, this is a good one for everybody. I forgot I wrote this. This is a good way to end yeah, it. I like according cheese. To I like cheese. Oh, how important is working out to you? Who's going first? We all have to answer it. So who wants to go first? I'll go first because I feel like my answer's... Go. Never mind. Okay, uh, so let's we'll answer it in like 25 <laughs> words or less. Let's make it fast. Working out is important to me... Because it helps me to just, like, remember who I am and what I'm capable of. Even on my worst of days, when I don't want to do it, when I just, like, push myself to do it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a fucking badass bitch. Mm -hmm. Now I remember who I am, what I'm capable of, and I feel like the reward is much bigger than just physical. It's mental, (laughs) self-love, snaps for Allie. My friends snap for themselves. That's why they're my, they're my friends. <laughs> yeah, and working out, how important is working out to you? I guess my first instinctual answer is very. And same thing that my friend said. It's like it reminds you of what you're capable of. And I think that I saw, it was a, or I shouldn't say saw, I listened to a podcast and Joe Rogan said, yeah, my workouts are super hard. So then everything else in my life is easy. And sometimes I feel like that. And it's just like push through that and you can kind of push through a lot of other things. And I think working out is fun too. Cause like we'll go, for, me, Ali and Gia, we'll go for hikes together. We'll work out together. And I think that's important too. Like the connection through sweat, the connection through self-love and sweat for me is super important. So how, how important is working out to you? I would say also the answer to that too for me is important enough because sometimes it can be overly important and you think like working out is the only thing. Mm-hmm. So it's important yeah, enough that's okay. and it's like 
a tool I use and there's a lot of other tools that I like to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, basically what you guys said, retweet, um, <laughs> hashtag retweet, but, um, yeah, Archie. I mean, gets my day going. It's for my mental health, my physical health and just all around. Like you keeps you, you know, Feeling like a bad bitch. It helps me remember who the fuck I am. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Self Love and Sweat, the podcast. Hey, do me a favor. Wherever you're listening to this podcast, give us a review. This really helps a lot. And share this with a friend. I'm only one person. And with your help, we can really spread the message of self love and sweat and change more lives all around the world. I'm London Souza reminding you that you deserve a life full of passion, presence, and purpose fueled by self-love and sweat. This podcast is a HitSpot Austria production.